Whew, yikes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I don't look so white. Good morning, guys. Welcome, Premium Aquatics, Luke, your host for today. Thank you for joining us as always. I hope you guys are having a happy and healthy week. Hopefully you got a lot of good gear while all the sales were going on for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all that good stuff. Uh, I know I have bought way too much <laughs> lately, but Christmas shopping is almost done. So, no complaints yet. <laughs> but today, guys, uh, we're going to be taking a look at something special here to help clean. Uh, we all know, or most of us know, and have dealt with products and uh, equipment that you use that get dirty and grimy and calcified especially. Um, so we're going to look at a product here that takes care of that and is going to help us get those pumps or equipment, skimmers, all that jazz, reactors, nice and clean. So let's go ahead, jump right into it. Come on, let's go. Thank you again for stopping by. The lights are on. I love them so far. Things seem to be going very, very well as far as the corals. Uh, the torch especially seems to be happier than he's ever been. He's out, big, bushy, all that good stuff. Still have flatworms I gotta take care of. I'm waiting to get some damsels, the spring rye damsels. So hopefully uh, I should be able to get some here shortly. But um, in the meantime, let's take a look at a cleaner that is gonna help you uh, decalcify uh, any equipment that you have going on, pumps, skimmers, reactors, things that have been sitting down in your sump, maybe that you don't take care of like you should, and now you've taken it out finally because something's going on, you're finally decided to clean it, but guess what? It's all calcified, it's all grimy, it's all gross. What are we gonna do to take care of it? Let me look, let me, actually, let me grab a piece of equipment that I've used that has gotten uh, dirty. So here's my piece of equipment, bam. The Tunzi skimmer that I had been using on this system, we took down, uh, swapped it out for the Reef Octopus, which the Reef Octopus is kicking butt, doing great, taking names. Um, I'm loving it so far. But uh, this guy has been um, sitting out now for a while, and I've meant to clean it over and over because I don't know if you can see here. Uh, of course you can. All these little white dots, these little, um, I forget the name of them, um, but they're a, a shell. Uh, for a little tube worm or something of that sort. And they're just everywhere uh, on this black plastic here and on the back, underneath, and they're probably inside. Yeah, they're inside as well. So what we need to do is get this sucker cleaned up. Um, we'll take apart the pump, take a look in that. Uh, we'll probably need to clean that off as well. I just, again, I haven't had time. I haven't taken the time to do it, but I need to get this sucker cleaned up and we want it nice and looking pretty. Um, I'm not using it right now, obviously, because we have something else on there, but you know, you never know. So we want to get this cleaned up. What can we do to clean it up? Glad you asked. If you didn't, I'm going to tell you anyways. We're looking at the CJ Pump Clean. This product is a cleaner of just about everything. They actually talk about it being able to be used in household for descaling like your uh, washers, your uh, dishwashers, that sort of thing too. So you can use it there, but we're gonna use it for its intended use. Uh, <laughs> let me bring this down here. We're gonna bring this for, for its intended use, it, which is pumps, equipment, all that jazz. So um, we're gonna go ahead and utilize this to help clean it up. I'm gonna get out a five gallon bucket. We're gonna put this in there. Um, let me open it up real quick. Basically, it's real simple. It's uh, inside here is granules and you get this little scoop here, um, but basically a white granular uh, substance. It almost reminds me uh, exactly of sugar, um, but we're gonna utilize this to uh, combine into water and then we're gonna let it sit and soak uh, our piece of equipment and allow it to eat at all the calcium that's on there. So the dosage here, uh, as it stays in the bottle, is for a gallon, you're gonna use four to six ounces of pump clean. One ounce here is this scoop. So you're gonna use four to six scoops. Um, if you're using just a quart, 
size, then you're gonna add two ounce to one quart of water, and you're gonna mix it until it's fully dissolved. So I'm gonna grab a five gallon bucket because obviously this skimmer's, um, you know, larger, so we need a lot of room. So I'm gonna be using probably, you know, maybe four gallons of water and anywhere between uh, 16 to 24 scoops of this. So we'll get the water, dissolve it in there, we'll put the skimmer and the parts in there, let it do its magic, and then come back maybe about an hour or two hours and see where we're at, see if I can just scrub it off real easy or if we need more time. Usually for the dry, uh, calcified stuff, it's gonna take a little bit longer to soak it and really absorb into that calcium to uh, be able to clean it up properly. If all your calcified uh, buildup is uh, soaked already, it may take less time to be able for uh, to be able to get this solution to penetrate into that and take a little bit less time to get it clean. So we'll gauge it, we'll try it out, we'll see what happens in an hour, see what happens at two hours, and maybe we'll have to leave it at four hours, six hours, I don't know for sure, I've never tried it. So um, let's get the bucket, get this in here, we'll get it mixed in, let's go. All right, so we've got our handy dandy bucket of water, thankfully this is measured, so I've got around three gallons right there. We're gonna take our pump clean, and as it stated, two to four ounces or two to four scoops per gallon. So we're gonna start out one, uh, actually I'm wrong, sorry, four to six ounces, four to six scoops per gallon. So I need uh, 12, so I've got six, 12. I'm gonna add one more just for good measure and we'll see what that does for us. All right, so let's mix that up. All right, so it is mixed in there. I'll take you off here just so you can see. It's actually a um, very pretty well clear uh, liquid mixture. Uh, we've got our skimmer parts, the front casing inside, got an impeller, the pump, skimmer cup, our body. Let's go ahead and toss this all in there. Bombs away. We'll let this sit up for an hour, see where it goes, uh, try and clean it off, and then we'll, you know, maybe every hour try and see uh, if it's progressed and when we're able to clean it up fully. We are at the one hour mark, and uh, it does look like um, it's taken away some of this uh, white stuff on the, uh, or the white calcification, I guess I should say, on it. Let's pull this piece out. I can, I would say that's pretty well done a great job. Um, it's got a little bit left here. Let's see if you can, that's not, I'll well, see. I use my fingernail and that comes right off. Um, funny part is right here, it was actually out of water, right this lip here. So this, uh, not much there, but this uh, is pretty well clean. I could definitely take a scrub brush to that and probably get the rest of it off. Um, here's the side of this unit. So it does still have some on it, which I'm not too surprised by that. I mean, we've only been an hour, but uh, you can see this is hard to hold. I mean, this is pretty much just kind of wiping off with my hand as well, which so that means if I had a little scrub pad of some sort, this would easily come clean. Let's take a look, see if I can find this impeller here real quick. That was house fight. Oh man, this impeller is pure clean. This thing definitely had a calcification on it, um, on the entire magnet here in this little uh, shaft. And this thing is just clean as a whistle, it looks like. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're at the one hour mark and um, we're pretty well cleaned up. So I can take a little bit of a, a scrub pad, just make sure the rest of this has come off and get the sucker cleaned up. So I'll do that here and I'll be right back. I wanna throw up a side by side here between this is now the clean and then we'll throw up over here the prior and you can just tell immediately the difference between the two. It's astounding. Uh, I mean, this looks 
pretty well brand new. There's only little pieces here and there that are round lettering that was a little bit uh, harder. If I would have taken a little bit of a, um, a toothpick or something, it would have came out no problem. But this stuff just for the most part wiped out. I took some filter floss that you can use you know, for filtration and whatnot. I used that as my scrub pad and uh, pretty well everything came off without a hitch. I mean, that's really, really clean. The impeller came out wonderful. I'm very happy about that. You can't really tell in the before picture, but this thing was coated as well. So that's really cool that it took care of that. But obviously you can see just on the front how much of a difference it made within just an hour. Uh, now keep in mind, obviously this was not super, super coated uh, like you might get some other things or uh, power heads or if you just leave it long term, you may not see uh, it only take an hour. You know, I didn't have layers and layers of calcium build up on these, um, on the skimmer. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's it. That was super easy. I mean, uh, if you want something where you're not having to scrub all day long, uh, this is something definitely to look into. Now, I will say uh, this is going to go extremely fast if you're doing five gallon or three gallon, four gallon buckets every single time you're wanting to clean something. So, if you're going to do that amount of water, I would say get everything you can that's got calcium on it or build up on it that you need clean. Do it at the same time because otherwise, um, this could go fairly quickly. Um, otherwise, I would make up just as much as you need to cover it so it can soak around it and um, utilize it that manner. And that way, this will last a lot longer for you. So, uh, beyond that, fantastic. I love it. That thing is super spick and pan. It's, uh, it's hard to argue when it works that well and that quickly. So, uh, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can go check it out. See if you want it, buy it, do it. And also, before I head out, we are doing another giveaway. I know, right? Giveaways galore here at Premium Aquatics. I don't know why you're not signed up for the newsletter. That's you. <laughs> no, but really guys, we're doing another giveaway. This time it is going to be on the Bubble Megas T01. What is that? Bam, it is the triple head dosing pump. You guys don't want to miss it. A fantastic unit. Uh, we've sold it for a very, very long time now. I'll leave a link in the description below as well to where you can go read more about that, as well as being able to check it out on our website so you know where to uh, sign up for it. Same as always, multiple ways to enter. Share it with your friends, family, get, uh, get as many entries as you can in there, and uh, hopefully you win it. So that's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. As always, stay happy, stay safe and healthy and all that jazz, and I will see you in a short couple weeks. Peace.